the general algorithm is such. There is an input image, and the Python imaging library creates a two-dimensional array based on this image. In this array, every element corresponds to one pixel of the image. For example, if I have a 3x3 three three pixels input image, the output array would have three rows with three elements each. As there can be only two colors in the machine, the input image should be of two colors as well. Um, this two-dimensional array is interpreted by the Arduino program as to where to place the dots on the workpiece. As the program is running, the dots are placed row by row. With every step, the program checks if the element of the array is a 1 or a 0. If the element is a 1, the program puts, puts a dot on the paper. If the element is a 0, the program does not put a dot on the paper. And I found this to be the simplest way of drawing, much easier to program than, say, drawing by lines. Now, stepper motors would be the obvious choice for a task like this, where you want high precision placement. However, I was not able to use these stepper motors with my Arduino due to technical reasons. If I was able to use the stepper motors, I would have used them using a threaded bar like this one. So when this motor is spinning, it is moving this whole assembly one or the other way, depending on which way it is spinning. And the same goes for this stepper motor, because there is another threaded bar inside of this assembly, and it moves this tool uh, up and down as well. And the same goes for this uh, stepper motor. There is a threaded bar inside of this block that moves this tool up and down. Because I'm not able to use a threaded axis like with a stepper motor, I have to use sliders like these where rotary motion of the server arm is being converted into the linear motion of the pen. Using these sliders means that the width and length of the image would be limited to uh, double the length of the server arm. As you might have noticed, the linear step is much smaller when the server arm is in this position than when it is in this position. This means that the image would be compressed at its borders and stretched in the middle like this. This means that we can either make this step smaller to match this step or make this step bigger to match this step. Making the linear step smaller or bigger would require making the rotary step smaller or bigger consecutively. Because service can only move in steps of one degree, it is impossible to make the large step smaller. Therefore, we are left with the option of making this step bigger to match this one. With this being the length of the servo arm in centimeters, this because of geometry, would be the smallest linear step that we would be able to achieve. This is the diagram of how we are going to calculate the rotary step to maintain a constant linear step. And uh, we are going to use the cosine ratio uh, and arc cosine because the only two variables that we are given is the r which is the length of the server arm and uh, it stays constant and A which changes depending on the number of linear steps covered and uh, this is the formula for A where S is the uh, length that is covered you might ask why does he not put gears on the servers and gear racks to convert the rotary motion of the servers into the linear motion as it would be much easier to program and to build. It is true 
However, there's an issue. I would have to buy or make these things. And the objective of this project is to use the least high-tech precision parts and the least effort. Gears and gear racks are generally not precision parts, but uh, in my project they kind of are because as you can see I'm making this out of uh, more or less garbage and uh, buying or making something like a gear or gear rack would just defeat the purpose of the project. Here is the overview of the whole assembly. This is the servo that moves the pen up and down. This is the screw under which you are fixing your workpiece. These two pieces, they hold this slider down and prevent it from uh, you know, moving in this way or this way too much, although it's kind of moving, but uh, they're preventing it from doing it too much. This is the resulting image from today's test. Um, honestly, I'm quite happy with it, even though, uh, especially up here, the dots are not quite clear. But overall, like I recognize the original image in this. And uh, I guess I've proven the concept that you don't need uh, high quality or high precision parts to do engineering because it all takes just a pile of garbage and some imagination.